to my channel and if you're new what up y'all i got this big old box to show you guys that i got from the sephora vib spring sale it's so much stuff you guys i got so much stuff i allowed myself to get whatever i wanted whatever i had been lusting after i put it all in my cart and i picked it up so i have a ton of things to show you guys like seriously it's so much stuff like it's so much and i also did this look with some of the items from this sale haul so if you guys are loving this look right here then you could definitely go and check out that video it should be up after this one so it's very much giving okay this is going to be like a little simple spring makeup look but it's going to be long wearing shine free oil control all of that like y'all just gotta go check it out okay y'all gotta go and check it out so if you guys are interested in seeing all of the things that I got from the Sephora VIB sale haul, then just keep on watching. Also, you guys, there was a little mishap when I placed my first order. So I ended up with a $190 credit to my account. So I also have this little box right here with some things in it. So like we got a lot of stuff to talk about, okay? But let's just jump right into it. So the first thing I have here is the Danessa Myers Beauty Lightwork Volume 4 Eyeshadow Palette. This is one of the items that I use to create today's makeup look. So like I said, if you're interested, you got to go and check that video out. But this is what this bad boy looks like. There's so many different textures in this palette. I can't even remember all of them. You have velvet crones, aqua crones, pressed chrome flakes, glass metallics. Like there are so many different textures in here and I can't wait to use this palette. It was very, very expensive, but I really wanted it because I wanted to use it as a companion palette to do like pops of colors and to incorporate all of these beautiful shades into different makeup looks the same way how I create it like an everyday look with some of the shadows in here i will be creating like spring and summer makeup looks with some of the more colorful shades so i really wanted that palette and y'all know danessa myrix is black owned so had to go ahead and get that and plus i love a lot of her products so speaking of danessa myrix i did also get two of her yummy skin blurring balm powder flush blushes so I was interested in these. If you guys saw my recommendations and wish list, I had these on there. So I got the shade Jubilee, which I think will be more of an everyday color for me. This is what the shade looks like. It's giving more of like a terracotta, somewhat orangey shade, but more on like the bricky terracotta side. And then and I got Prima Donna, which I have been wanting some really bright blushes for the springtime so prima donna is definitely more of like that fuchsia reddish type of color super punchy and poppy and pretty i cannot wait to wear this i have been looking forward to doing like really natural simple no makeup type makeup looks with like super bright vivid blushes like this so i cannot wait to put that to the test like i said expect some more get ready with me's and like makeup of the day videos from me coming soon because I got so much stuff, you guys. Okay, so let's get these two boring things out of the way. So these are the Sephora Melting Cleansing Balms. Now, I wanted the Algae Extract one, but I ended up with the Chlorella one. And I don't know how much of a difference this one is from the other one, but it's still a melting cleansing balm. So I'm assuming it's going to work the same. So I can't wait to start using this to take off my makeup because I'm actually almost out of the one that I'm currently using. Um, so then we have some things from House Labs. So I did get two of the blushes from House Labs. I probably will pick up some more during the fall VIB sale, but for this one, I just wanted to pick up two. So the first one I got is Watermelon Bliss, and it looks just like that color on the back. It is super bright, super fun. It's pretty much like a neon red blush color, and I cannot wait. Like, I can't wait. I actually want to pop some on now just to see what she looks like i'm actually going ahead and tap a little bit of this on now and see oh so she you only need a little bit like i just literally tap my brush in yeah you that is so pretty listen oh yeah she about she about to be a vibe for the springtime she is about to be a vibe this is definitely going into my rotation immediately so that's watermelon bliss and then i ended up getting pomelo peach which I saw this one on the model and I was like, oh, I can get away with that color. But I don't know. She's looking a little light on camera. So I'm not too sure. Let me see. I might as well go ahead and like try and pack this one on as well. Okay, no, she does show up. She does show up on my skin. She's just a little bit 
lighter of a peach shade but it definitely shows up on my skin i definitely like watermelon bliss a lot more but it's definitely giving spring punchy blush so i'm excited to use both of these and i love the packaging it's very reflective but just the compact itself i really do like it it comes with a really nice mirror as well like i think these are so pretty the last thing is a bronzer from house labs and i had to get this of course i actually like the bronzer packaging a little bit more this one is more of a copper metallic type of packaging and it has more of a softer finish on the front as opposed to it just being the metallic packaging so i like the bronzer packaging a lot more but i got this shade powder sculpt deep level 10 and i felt like this one would be dark enough for me and it's not super red toned so when i was looking at the swatches on the model i was like okay i don't want a super red tone bronzer i want something a little bit more brown i do have on a red tone bronzer today and it's definitely fitting because i am getting more tan but i wanted to be able to use this one year round so i got deep level 10 and i think this will match my complexion quite nicely so i'm excited to try that out okay so another product that i'm actually wearing today and i was shook shook okay mm this this is definitely i can see it right now this is going to be one of my favorites just because of the way that it applied the way that it set and dried down the way that i was able to blend it out and build it up this is the givenchy prisme libre skin caring concealer this is gorgeous and i got the shade in three four five so it says that this one is 24 hour wear 24 hour hydration 24 hour radiance it corrects dark circles redness and imperfections for an even luminous complexion its refreshing texture is enriched with a cappuccino I hope I'm pronouncing that right, extract, and a cornflower complex to guarantee comfort and hydration. So I will say that this is definitely more of a creamy concealer, but I feel like it sets. It sets very well. You have so much time to blend this out because I let it sit on my skin and I was still able to blend it out with a brush and it looked flawless. It blended effortlessly with a brush. And then I added a second layer on top and I blended it out and it just gave even more coverage. And y'all see what my under eyes are looking like. This thing is good. And I really like the packaging the packaging is a lot bigger than i thought it was going to be but i actually really like this packaging it's definitely giving high-end luxury i like it so this concealer definitely would highly recommend that it was on my wish list but now i'm adding it to my recommendations because i would highly recommend that concealer and then to go along with that i did get the prisme libre matte finish and enhanced radiant loose powder this is basically their uh four in one loose powder and i got the shade number five pope line mimosa i was gonna use this today but I don't know if I'm going to use this under my eyes or to set my entire face. I really have to see and play around with this because it has a yellow tone powder. It has more of a peach tone powder. It has more of a skin tone reddish type of powder. And then it has more of this like really light beige type of powder. So I think this majority of people who use this use this to set their entire face so i think that's what i'm going to do as well but i do need to play around with it so i'm excited to you know try that out and see how i like it okay and then i did get some products from rare beauty so this is the positive light liquid illuminator in flaunt yes in flaunt and this is such a beautiful gold shimmery color so i am really excited about this because i've been loving my liquid highlighters they have just been doing it for me it's like they give the most natural lit from within type of glow especially once you put on your actual blush and concealer and everything it just looks like you're radiating from within so i'm excited about that and then i got two of the positive light silky touch highlighters so the first one i got is in the shade mesmerize this is cute little packaging and this one is more of the pinky tone because y'all know i love my pinky toned highlighters and then i got flaunt which matches the liquid highlighter so this one is in more of a gold shade same packaging and this is what that one looks like so i will more than likely be pairing these two together so was super excited about those those are cute um let's see what else we have oh so this is the one size secure the sweat dry till dawn mattifying primer this is what i have on my skin right now this is my second time wearing this primer the first time i really put it to the test i applied my makeup at 5 15 i did the exact routine that patrick star suggested in his video when using this product if you want really long wearing sweat proof sweat resistant transfer resistant makeup so um yeah and it 
it 100 worked y'all i'm just going ahead and let y'all know blunt and honest it 100 worked i used it with my ysl all hours foundation and i literally did not get shiny until about the 12 hour mark with this product this product, in addition to the Secure the Blur Primer, which I'm going to show you guys in this haul, and the One Size On Till Dawn Setting Spray had my face sitting, and I was literally in the sun for the majority of my day. So, just saying, this product definitely works. Y'all can see I've already used it. So, same thing like with the concealer. I'm taking it off of my wish list, and I'm adding it to my recommendations because you need that if you're an oily skin girl, Okay. So another primer that I ended up getting, this is the Dior Forever Velvet Veil, and this is their 24-hour blurring matte primer. I'm all about that matte blurring life. Y'all already know if it's going to be long wearing, if it's going to keep me matte, if it's going to be blurring, then I absolutely need it. And I wanted this to wear with all of my Dior foundations that I have. So I'm super excited to try this out. I love my luxury makeup now, and I love the packaging. This new is very much giving, very much giving luxury so i will be wearing that and trying that out okay and i did get the milk pour eclipse matte setting spray i had to get this because y'all know how big of a fan i am of the pore eclipse primer i rave and rave and rave and sing to the heavens praise to the heavens how great that product is so i absolutely had to get the setting spray to go along with it and this one is just supposed to keep you matte make your makeup long wearing um and i can't wait to test it out with the actual primer so I needed this and then i got this beauty blender besties bronze limited edition set so it comes with this cute carrying case for your beauty blender which i absolutely love because i don't have any carrying cases for my beauty blenders usually when i pack my makeup for travel i just throw my beauty blenders like in a bag on top so i love that this one comes with a carrying case and i love the color of this one so it's pretty much like a nude color this is super cute to me so everything comes in this little pouch like how cute is this and it has the holes in the back so you can get some air to your beauty blender so it's not like wet in there and like growing mold so you have the nude beauty blender super cute can't wait to start using that i haven't actually used a beauty blender in forever because i've been using like the real technique sponges and all of the dupes and knockoffs so i haven't used an actual beauty blender in forever it also comes with the beauty blender blender cleanser solid which i love as well as a little cleaning pad for like your brushes so love that love the carrying case i thought this was so cute i love little convenient things like this i had to have it so we got some pat mcgrath in here so i did get one of her highlighters and then one of her blushes i actually got i think i got two of her highlighters and two of her blushes but they're in the other box so i'm just showing you guys what's in this box first so this is the blush and this one is in the shade paradise venus so this is like an everyday blush for me this could be a really great spring blush it's more of like that mauvey pink type of color but it's still popping enough for like spring and summer so so excited for that excited to put that in my rotation and i'm super excited for this highlight because this highlight is more of a subtle highlight but it's glittery and i love me some glitter i love a good glittery shimmery highlight okay so this one is in the shade bronze mirage and i actually really like the color of this so this is what she looks like you guys are definitely going to see this in action because i will be doing a tutorial with this one as well as the other one because i love this highlighter like i said it's subtle but it has like glitter shimmer particles chef's kiss so pretty and then i also ended up getting the mini eyeshadow palette in sublime smoke this kind of came out with her bronze collection and i didn't pick up any of her bronzers i know i told you guys that i wanted to pick up her bronzers but at sephora they didn't have all of the shades and it was either i was going to get the really really dark one which i know that one is not for my skin tone like i don't want that one it's like a super red tone bronzer um and then the next shade up i felt like would be a little bit too light so i was like where are the other shades of the bronzer i guess they're only available on her site so i decided not to get her bronzers hold on i gotta cut this open okay so this is what that palette looks like it's really cute there was one that came out before this one and i didn't pick it up because i just didn't mesh with the colors but this one looks right up my alley this is so pretty so cute for travel so cute for every day for work so i really like that one and next i did get a bunch of lip products let me see do i have any more complexion 
Oh yes, I did finally, finally, finally get an LYS Satin Matte Cream Blush. So I told you guys that I wanted to try LYS blushes back when, I forgot what video I made, but there was a video I wanted to try out the LYS blushes. So this is what the packaging looks like. And I got the shade Confident. So this is what that looks like. This actually looks like it will be a perfect cream blush to go over a lot of different things. It's more of like that mauve pink color. So this one could be used for every day or it can be used for glam underneath any type of blushes. So I'm excited about that. I like the packaging. I think it's really cute. And then I did get an eyeshadow palette. This is a Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Quad. So I have three of these. I think already and this will be my fourth one or I have two and this will be my third one. I don't know, but I have really been loving these Charlotte Tilbury quads. I use a couple of these during the holidays. So if you guys want to go and check those videos out, I will link like all of my makeup tutorials and stuff. So I've just really been liking these and the one that I picked up is the Bella Sophia. So this is what this one looks like and these are really cute everyday type of palettes but they're also really really nice for like soft glam so i really really like this one so pretty i just have really been loving like my luxury makeup it's amazing so i did also get a charlotte tilbury lip cheat reshape and resize lip liner and i got the shade foxy brown now i did think this was going to be a little bit darker she's not as dork as I would like, you know what I'm saying? She ain't no Morphe trendsetter because that's what I have on my lips right now. But I mean, she's a nice little chocolate brown. Like she could be used for every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm not against this because this will definitely give me a nice outline. I feel like it looks more like the natural outline of my lip color. So I do like using colors like this when I'm going for more of a natural type of look. So I'm not mad at it. I just expect that homegirl to be a little bit darker. But she will get used because that lip liner was not cheap. Okay, and everything else in here is lip products. It's not a lot. Um, so I did get the Dior Lip Attic Lip Tint and I got the shade Natural Tea. I will insert a picture of how it's supposed to look because I'm actually not going to swatch this. I don't want to open all of my lip products until I'm ready to actually use them. But this is what this one looks like. So it's basically almost like a blotted liquid lip. It's not super, super pigmented, but it is going to give you some color, but it's more of like a natural flush. So I'm super excited about that. I'm also super excited about my Pat McGrath lipstick. So this is her Satin Allure lipstick in Nude Fantasia. I told y'all that I was going to get one of her lipsticks in like my classic nude, like my type of nude. This right here that I'm wearing, this is like my go-to type of nude lip. So this is what the packaging looks like. This is absolutely adorable. Love this. And then this is the color of the lipstick. So it's like that peachy nude type of color, like my go-to so had to have that and to go along with it i got one of her lip glosses so this is her lust gloss in love potion and i specifically chose this shade to go with that lip color it's super pretty it's showing up more pink on camera but it's actually more of like a nudie color and it has a bunch of pink and silver shimmer running throughout it so i will be using that on top of that lipstick and then i did get two of the makeup by mario lip plumping serum balms now i have used one of these so the shades that i got are nude glow and honey glow oh my god so honey glow is the one that i have been using i want to buy all the colors of this this is so pretty you guys i love the formula i love the tone i love the shade i love the packaging this is this product is it this product is it you know what i was thinking about wearing like the charlotte tilbury lip liner and then putting this on top or even the other shade that i got because the other shade is more of a nude this is gorgeous it looks so good on my lips so this is what nude glow looks like and i think this one would be perfect with that charlotte tilbury lip liner as well because it's more of that like nude type of shade so it'll be a nice contrast i'm obsessed with these y'all if you haven't tried these you need to because those are amazing lip products. I really do like them. Okay, and then I ended up getting a Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss in Rosy Outlook. So I wanted to try this product out in the full size because I do have the little minis that I bought during the fall Sephora VIB sale. And I'm not the biggest fan of the minis just because I feel like not enough product comes off on the doe foot applicator. I have to re dip the wand into it like four different times to get enough products so i was like you know what i'm not gonna write the product off 
I'm gonna try the full size and see if I like the full size better than the mini size because the applicator is a lot bigger on the full size. A lot more product comes off on the wand. So I was like, let me give it a try. And I got Rosy Outlook because this is just like that pinky clear type of shade. It's more clear than anything. So I was like, let me try that out first. Okay, and then the last thing in that box is the Dior Attic Lip Glow Oil. And I got mine in the shade Mahogany. And I told y'all in my recommendations and wish list video that I wanted this. So this is what she looks like. And again, I have not opened this one yet because I'm waiting. I don't want to, I don't want to open this right now. I got a lot of lip products open. I got a lot of lip oils open right now. So I will definitely hold off but oh, she looks so pretty i mean just look at that she looks so thick and pretty and i feel like this shade is gonna be chef's kiss on your girl but you guys that's everything from the first box we still have a whole nother box to get through so don't worry don't worry i got more stuff there's not a lot so i'm gonna go through this really really quickly so i did get one skincare product this is from the inky list so this is their excess oil solution 20 percent niacinamide serum and i got this because i'm actually almost out of my the ordinary niacinamide serum so i was like you know let me try this out the inky list is very inexpensive at sephora and i was like yeah you know what I'm gonna try that out. And it says controls oil for up to eight hours, dramatically reduces the appearance of stretched pores. So I need that in my life. You feel me? So I wanted to try that out. Um, I did get a full size of the one size secure the blur makeup magnet primer. This is another product that I used on my face today. In addition to the secure the sweat primer, because that's how Patrick Starr uses it in his video. So this is what that product looks like. I'm Super excited to try this out. And you get a lot of this primer. This is 35 mils, 1.2 fluid ounces. So it's five more mils than the normal amount of primer. And I think I'm gonna get a lot of good use on that during the spring and summer. Because like I said, I used it today and your girl is snatched and beat and all of that. So um, the next product I got was another Charlotte Tilbury product. This is her Eyes to Mesmerize in Exagger Eyes. So this is what the packaging looks like. Really cute and this is the product right here so it's a nice potted basically like cream eyeshadow and this is what the exagger eyes shade looks like so this looks like it will be perfect for every day to throw on it gives a nice shimmer a nice shine to your eyelids you can use this as a base you can use this on top of other eyeshadows you can use it by itself so i can't wait to use that because i love having like shimmery glittery kind of sheer shadows for every day for work. I think they are so pretty. So I'm excited for that. I got another LYS product. This is their No Limits Cream Bronzer Stick. And I got mine in the shade Strength, which is dark. I think this is the second to the last deepest shade. So I feel like this one would be perfect for my skin tone. Love the packaging of it. Like, I just really like how this looks. It's not super weighted or anything. Like, some people would say that this feels cheap, but it's not... I don't know i don't need it to be all heavy and weighted but this is what the product looks like so i feel like that would be a nice bronzing chiseling out type of color so super excited to try that out and then here are my other two pat mcgrath blushes and highlighters so for the highlighter i got venus nectar and this one is more of like the peachy pink type of shade so the first one that i showed you guys bronze mirage was a little bit more golden and this is what that one looks like. So you can see it's more of a peachy pink type of shade. This one is right up my alley. So I'm super excited for that one. And then for the blush, I got Cherish. And this is more of like that rosy pink that everybody has been going for. Like bubblegum pink. It's showing up a lot more bubblegum pinky on camera. But I promise it's not that bright in person. Like, let me actually do a swatch. Let me see. So that's what it looks like. It's really like that bubblegum pink. It's not as bright as it's showing on camera, but I'm excited for that nonetheless. I really have been loving that shade of blush on my skin tone. Now that I'm getting a little bit darker and a little bit more tan, I don't think I'm gonna be using that specific color. I think, I don't know, I have to see how it looks on my skin tone, but I think I'm gonna wait more for fall and winter to use that kind of blush like how I was doing before, because I think right now it'll kind of look I don't know, it'll probably look a little bit weird because I'm getting darker. But the last things that I have in that box are the Fenty Icon Case in the Red Edition. And then I did get a Fenty Icon Semi Matte Lipstick Refill in the MVP. So I'm going to just go ahead and pop the lipstick into the actual components. 
And the MVP is described to be more of a blue-based red lipstick. So take the cap off, insert it into here, and then put it in there. And then you can twist it up. And this is how you take the lipstick out. So that's a really nice red shade. Super, super pretty. The red that I had on in my last video was MAC Lady Danger. And I like that red because it's more of an orangey red. So I think it's perfect for spring and summer. So this one will be more of like my fall and winter red. And I love that I got the red case to go with it because now I know that this one is my red lipstick because I do have another lipstick case from her. So it'll show the difference. This is more of like my mauve brown color. And then this one is my red. So I'm super excited about that. And with that, you guys, that is everything that I got from the Sephora VIB Spring Sale. I got so much stuff. I have so much new makeup. I'm super happy with everything that I bought. I have no regrets, none whatsoever. I'm really excited to like get into these products, start playing around with them, start doing videos with them, put them in my shop, my stash, everything. Like I'm happy with everything that I got. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope that I could kind of give you guys some insight on these products just in case that you wanted to fill up your wish list for the fall VIB sale. Um, I'm trying to get this video up before the last day of the sale. So just bear with me. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. If you're new, New, you should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the fragrance and beauty army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next one peace